Next comes the operation of a statute. Typically, central statutes will be in force throughout the territory of India unless specified otherwise. For example, before the abrogation of Article 370, many statutes would have the specification mentioned in them that they would not be applicable in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. If no such exceptions are mentioned, then central laws will be applicable across India and state laws will be applicable across the particular state. In some cases, the application of an Indian statute may be extended to beyond normal Indian territory. For example, if an offence under the IPC is committed by an Indian citizen, then the IPC will be applicable even if the person is outside the territory of India. Or the Indian Penal Code will be applicable on any person, even a non-citizen, who commits an offence on an Indian registered ship or an aircraft, even if the ship or aircraft is in international territory at that time. or in case of a cyber crime then the ipc will be applicable on any person irrespective of where he or she was at the time of committing the offence if the target computer resource is located in india there are also several acts which have state specific amendments like the cpc where some sections are not applicable or apply in a different manner in some states so as we can see understanding the operation of a statute is very important in the process of interpretation of statutes